listening to, I say you are listening to, you are absolutely listening to the George Espinlove Show coming to you live from the funny farm. Now with no further ado, here comes Georgie! make me feel so good and besides that it's good we're using that word good a lot already but nonetheless it's good to be back on the air tonight and we have a tribute to America this is our birthday our country our nation and we're going to pay tribute to our nation this evening to all of our friends down the street around the corner across this great nation and around the world i welcome you to the george espinlove show and as we say each and every evening at this time we come to you live from the funny farm in a place called our world that's right our world we have no idea where that is we don't have a mailing address We don't even have a mailbox. In fact, as you move throughout our world, and particularly here on the Funny Farm, you'll find out that we are self-sustained. We have our own fire department. We have our own police department. We have our own psychiatric ward. Yes, we do. And we we have everything. We are self-sustained. But the one and only thing that we do not have here on the Funny Farm is a mailing address, nor do we have a postmaster or a postal building. What do you call them in the real world? Post offices. We don't have any of them. And we don't even have a mail delivery person. But we do have email. Email us at George C E. That's George C E at Comcast.net. George C E at Comcast.net. We are going to pay tribute to this great nation. And I hope that wherever you're at, particularly in the United States, I trust that you had a beautiful day here on the eastern shore on the Del Marva Peninsula. We've had plenty of sunshine, lots of heat, and there's been activities going on up and down the peninsula from the south to the north, from the east to the west. Cookouts, parades, festivities of all types. And, yes, the beaches are packed. And it has been a delightful day. Tonight, many places in our area... We'll be popping the fireworks here in our locality, Ocean City, Rehoboth. I mean, numerous places will be popping the fireworks tonight. And wherever you're at, I trust that you've had a wonderful 4th of July day and have even more enjoyment this evening as America celebrates our birthday. I trust that old Glory was run up, and she is waving, and you are proud, and you are thankful that you are an American. I am. I don't know any better way to start. Oh, beautiful for space. 
spacious skies for amber waves of rain for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on Countryside sure does make me proud. See old glory fly. Oh glory, oh glory. Where have you been? Sure is good to see. Oh glory, wave again. I see her in store windows on every pole in every town. Sure is good to see. Stop at a truck stop on my way to New Orleans. They were selling no glory hats, t shirts, and blue jeans. No. They had stickers for your windows and flags for your cars. Some folks think they're taking old glory just too far. And a blue one smiled at me and walked. Almost couldn't believe what I was seeing with my eyes. There was old glory and brother to her behind. I'd never seen no glory waving so fine. Oh glory, oh glory, where?
that was Old Glory by Eddie Ray Franks, Jr. We're going to showcase some of Eddie Ray's music tonight. A lot of it is patriotic. The man himself has retired from the United States Army. I believe it was back in 1992. He is a musician, a singer, a songwriter, and a man that loves his country. And soon, and as soon as we make the date, we will let you know that Eddie Ray Franks Jr. will be on the show with us, and I hope that it's very, very soon. So we're going to showcase some of his music, not all of it, but some of it, and I hope that you enjoy it because it talks about this country. It talks about the men and women that have served in the armed forces, the men and women that are serving now, and I thank you for your service. You know, when we sit back, <clears throat> and as you hear me say so many times, we move faster than speeding bullets anymore. But I trust that every now and then, you stop long enough, sit down, and count your many blessings for living in this great country. You know, when our founding fathers put this whole thing together, I believe with all my heart, and I believe history says, that they were divinely inspired. And we built this nation on God. In our Pledge of Allegiance, we say one nation under God. I believe it was President Reagan that said, the nation that doesn't live under God goes under. And our founding fathers, tired of t tyranny, decided to stand at the risk of everything that they owned, including their own lives. We all know the story. I hope we do. We know the history of this great United States of America. And I trust and pray that you'll sit down and just count your many blessings as we celebrate, as we celebrate across this nation today, this evening. Let us remember that the 4th of July is more than a day off work. It's more than hot dogs and hamburgers. It's more than swimming. It's more than fireworks. It's much more than that. Let us remember that we live in the greatest country that this world has ever seen. And it's still we, the people. Never lose sight of the fact that it's still we, the people. There's a changing of the garden and the closing of the door. Now a young soldier walks where an old soldier walked before. They don't ride horses no more, no more. And they don't take old soldiers to war. Backward boots and saddles led the general to his grave. Twenty-one guns fired, then the taps begin to play. As I watch the flag being folded away, I remember those words the general used to say. Oh, soldiers. They don't die, they just fade away. The battles he fought, he holds deep inside. The medals he wore, he wore them with pride. The men he lost, he held them up high. The memories he made 
never will die. There's a changing of the garden and the closing of the door. Now a young soldier walks where an old soldier walked before. They don't ride horses no more, no more, and they don't take no soldiers to war. Off in the distance, I can hear the taps play for the ones who died and faded away. Freedom's still free. He could take that to his grave, and off in the distance, the taps fade away. There's a changing of the guard and the closing of the door. Now a young soldier walks where an old soldier walked. They don't ride horses no more, no more, and they don't take old soldiers to the war. They don't ride horses no more, no more.
world glory fly and freedom ring in America you can go and chase your dreams set your goals up high you can be most anything And you're listening to the music of Eddie Ray Franks, Jr. And we're paying tribute to America. I love the way those songs are ending. Let me share with you tomorrow night. Let me find my gizmo here. You see, I'm, I'm here in the studio all by my lonesome tonight because Charlie has the night off and he along with Chloe, is down at the beach, and he is down there dancing and no doubt singing and probably causing some mischief somewhere. But nonetheless, I'm here in the studio all by myself, so if I push the wrong button, which I have been known to do, please forgive me in advance. Tomorrow night, our handy little gizmo tells us, that Deborah Parker will be with us. Tune in tomorrow night. Deborah is a veteran. She will be sharing some things with us that are of vital importance. It'll be informative. It'll probably be hard hitting. But most of all, it'll be thought provoking. And that's what we like around here. We like to be challenged to think. So tomorrow night, 6 30 p.m. Eastern Time. Right here on Spreaker.com, we will have Deborah Parker with us. And then, on Monday, that's July the 8th, we are going to have a most interesting show. And I, I, want, I want to read part of this email to you, <clears throat> excuse me, that pertains to the show on Monday night. Now let me let me get my glasses off so I can see. All right. Let me try to read this to you. Dear George, good to find you. Daryl and I would be honored to be considered as guests. Here's why. Now I want you to listen to this and if you know someone that couldn't listen live tonight, please tell them to tune in and listen to the tape version or the podcast itself. Our book, Which One Am I? That's the title of their book. Which One Am I? Is the story of Daryl's life surviving dissociative identity disorder or DID, which is to say he has multiple personalities. DID is comparably rare amongst males, though most mental health professionals agree that this is not because more cases don't exist. Because there is a stigma, remember that word, stigma, when we had Linda Katz on here, we talked about stigma. And because there is a stigma attached to the causes of DID, mental, physical, or sexual abuse before the age of six, instead of treatment, men will tend to seek other outlets. Sex, violence, drugs, and alcohol, it's been said that the best place to find a male DID sufferer is in prison. The email goes on to say there are actually three storylines presented. The first is, of course, the story of Daryl's life, how he functioned with the people inside him, and how, in some instances, they functioned without him. The second story is how DID 
has been presented and perceived by society at large during his lifetime from the three faces of Eve through the United States of Tara. Along this journey, we note the influence on the psychological profession of legal cases, including Billy Milligan, the Hillside Strangler, and McNaughton Preschool, all of which led to professionals being much less likely to make controversial diagnoses such as DID. The third story is our return to Arkansas and Tennessee to try our best to determine the root cause of Daryl's DID. It all came down to family. An accidental phone call unearthed Daryl's late mother's best friend, James Daryl. She said when her daughter-in-law handed her the phone. I'm sorry, let me read that again. An accidental phone call unearthed Daryl's late mother's best friend, James Daryl, she said when her daughter-in-law handed her the phone. You ain't no James Daryl Williams. You're James Daryl Jackson. Our return to Daryl's birthplace was our attempt to determine who Daryl's father really was. Who was his family, and why had they taken more than 40 years to deliver the news? Which one am I? Was always designed to be an agent text, a first-person narrative about living with the concepts society and psychology students learn in college. There are sections about the workings of the brain as they apply to those with DID and to Daryl in particular. Born premature? Just a week past being a stillbirth by our calculations, his brain was particularly unprepared for the emotional, physical, and sexual abuse that awaited him at the hands of a father who was not his father and a mother who was mentally imbalanced herself. These gentlemen will be with us Monday night. Monday night. So mark that down. Wherever you mark important dates down, mark it down. The authors of Which One Am I will be with us Monday night, July the 8th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time right here on Spreaker.com. So please tune in. It will be most informative. It will be hard-hitting. It will be thought-provoking. And it'll take us on a journey that most of us, if not all of us, have never been before. So mark that down. It's a very important date. And then mark down a week from Monday, which is the 15th. We will be having Michael Holt and the Tornado 500s, musical group out of Austin, Texas, that is doing great things. They are busy playing music, and they are going places. So they'll be with us on the 15th. Tonight, we're showcasing some of Eddie Ray Frank's junior music. And because he is a veteran, retired Army man, singer, songwriter, musician, and many of his songs just coincide with July 4th. I thought that we would play him today, and he will. He will be a guest on our show in the very near future. So that kind of catches us up on who's tomorrow night, Deborah Parker. Monday night, we'll have uh, the authors of Who Am I with us. I might as well get down the whole week. On Tuesday, Daryl Lester will be with us. Wednesday, Robin Goings, Michael Nucitelli, Nucitelli, Michael Nucitelli, and Dale Stanton. That's the lineup for next week. So please mark it all down. And like always, come hang out with us and be there. You want to send us an email? George CE at Comcast.net. George CE at Comcast.net. Let's go back to Eddie Ray Franks, Jr., The Eyes.
of this soldier. He was a child like many others Till he became a man Joined a band of brothers When he raised his right hand He vowed to fight for freedom Keep peace throughout this land Until that final day He died fighting in the sand Through the eyes of a soldier Through his blood and his tears His strength and his weakness In the family that held him dear He fought for our freedom Whenever duty called He rarely heard a thank you But he died for us all His parents raised him right And gave him love each day When he became a man These words he had to say Sometimes you have to fight For things you love each day That's why he stood so proudly For the good old Through the eyes of this soldier Through his blood and his tears His strength and his weakness In the family that held him dear He fought for our freedom Whenever duty called He rarely heard a thank you But he died for us all Some people need to understand the price that's been paid that gave them the right For what they have today Why don't you thank a soldier Who's standing here today And thank the Lord above For the good old USA Through the eyes of our soldiers Through their blood and their tears Their strength and their weakness And the family that holds them dear They fight for our freedom Whenever duty calls They rarely hear a thank you But they died for us all They rarely hear a thank you But they died
It's just the hole in the ground That's all And there's a lot of names On that long black wall As tears come to my eyes I held my head up high Then I walked The long black wall Halfway down the wall I stopped to see This old soldier down On bending knee With tears in his eyes He touched the wall and cried Then he turned and said These few words to me I've walked through the mud The blood, the sweat and tears And I fought side by side With men whose names are here As tears came to his eyes He held his head up high Then he walked The long black wall A little farther down the wall I stopped to see This old woman praying on bending knee With tears in her eyes She touched the wall and cried Then she turned and said These few words to me We raised that boy to believe That men had to fight to be free As tears came to her eyes She held her head up high And when she walked The long black wall Have you been to Washington? To see the wall So many men died And gave the all Just how many names Can you recall Have you been to Washington Did you walk Walk
It's time to put United back into the nation. Well, we had our share of trouble. Lord, we had our share of pain. But the pain now has doubled. Life is harder to maintain. While families sit and wonder, Lord, how will they make it through? Well, we'll turn to God in heaven. We'll put our trust back into you. United we stand, but divided we will fall. We need to stand together, make things right for one and all. In a world of uncertainty and all its devastation. It's time to put United back into the nation. United Back in Nation. Before I play this next to last song, let me let me read to you this song written by Doug Sparts and Doug DeForest and sung by Sparts and Todd Fritch is a compelling look at the horrors of war. And it's the true story of a fallen hero. It's a tale of a father and son and their letters back and forth until, until the day the young soldier can write no more. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to the words of this song because it depicts every battle, every war, that this country has ever been involved in. The only thing that changes is the dates, the technology, but the men and women are the same down through the years. Men and women that walk proud, men and women that answered the call, men and women that We are going to get it. I promise we're going to get it. We hit the proper buttons. Where's Charlie when I need him at a time like this? Let's try this again. <laughs> Hang in there with me. Hey, son, I hope this letter finds you smiling. Oh, no, Todd, when sand gets in your eyes 
I bet you're surprised it's me that's right Cause I ain't too much on letters But I'll try Your Uncle Mel quit drinking And he said This time he'll get clean and stay that way Your cousin got a car for graduation Ruined a set of tires for 30 days Your grandma cooked some biscuits Sunday morning And the sausage gravy tasted mighty fine Oh, I know that you can't wait to get to taste it So I won't rub it in too many times So now I close this letter with I love you Your mom and I are proud you're standing tall But be sure to keep your head down when the bullets start to fly Cause we can't hug a knee on the wall Hey dad I got your letter Wednesday morning And it made me laugh to think, Uncle Man. Could he's quit drinking seven times since winter. And I can see him telling that old tale. And I smell Grandma's biscuits on the paper. When I close my eyes, I see a face. You must have wrote this letter in her kitchen I sure get homesick fighting in this place They tell me that I'm here to defend freedom But I must say it's hard to be alive But any explanation is a reason To see your best friends die your eyes I guess I better go do my duty It's time for me to give this war my all But I'm just trying to get back home still walking. Not just be a name on the wall Well a letter came this morning marked official Two men brought it right up to the door It wasn't written in my son's handwriting Oh, the news it carried not to the floor Where they said before he fell he was heroic And he saved a lot of lives before he died But that don't stop the pain that this father's feeling And will never dry the million tears he's crying Oh, I'm glad I closed that letter with I love you Cause like so many more he gave his all Now each time I need to say I love you To say I love you to the wall. Thank God for America. I hope that you enjoyed the nights program. It wasn't long, but it was our tribute to America. We featured some of the songs by Eddie Ray Franks, and he'll be a guest with us in the near future. So tonight, if it's nighttime or evening where you're at and you're going to the fireworks, you have yourself a good time. But remember, remember, We are celebrating our nation's birth. This is our birthday. And so, 
please remember to thank our servicemen and women, those in uniform that are serving abroad and at home, to keep us free. Bow your head and pay a tribute to those that gave it all, all on the battlefield, that you and I might be free and enjoy another 4th of July in this great country. I see the train coming. I guess I'm, I guess I'm going to have to jump all by myself tonight. Charlie's not here to jump with me. Sometimes, sometimes he scares me. He kind of, you know, I never know when he's going to jump. But anyhow, if it's nighttime where you're at, you have a great night. If it's daytime already where you are, then you have a fantastic day. But regardless of what it is and where you are, until tomorrow night when we have Deborah Parker with us. You, remember, stay safe, and don't get behind the wheel of that vehicle if you've been drinking. Remember, Grandma Strayer got her eye on you. Don't take no wooden nickels. Stay safe. Be kind one to another, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station. Good night, everybody.